message and about numbers. One might say, how, how, do, you, how do you deal with uh, a system where there is, say, a billion? How could, for example, seven to 8,000 possibly have greater spiritual, intellectual and awareness mass? And it comes to whether it's grounded in truth. See, a, a lie is like a shallow lake. It can stretch over vast distance but has no depth. And when sunlight is applied in great abundance, it will quickly evaporate. But a deep, deep, deep lake may not be as wide, but its depth means it can never be extinguished that easily. Now, I don't know if my analogy works, but I hope it does. That's the difference between truth and a broadly accepted lie. A broadly accepted lie in the world of ideas is like that lake. It may be widely believed but has no depth in the spiritual world. Okay? Yeah. Thank you, Frank. That's pretty powerful. Okay. Uh, let's see, Greg. I think we've got the phone call here. All right. All right. Hi, Terry. Hi, Frank. Uh, hi. Hi. On speakerphone, let me get off. Let me get off. Okay. Um, um, I, there enough, hold on one second. There was a discussion at the end of the discussion that you had, Frank, with Matt. Um, uh, there was a host team listed. Well, I'm sorry, I'm peeking back. That's right. It's better now. Um, anyways, it was about an elite family. It was. Uh, I, I saw the article when it first came out. There was a blog back in 2008. Uh, some guy claiming to be from the elite ruling family saying that they were playing a special role, um, that they are, and they were all pretty much actors in a role. And, and so they don't really want to do the evil things they do. They just do it because that's the role they've been assigned to do. Did you see that at the end of the, at the end of yes. that? Uh, yes. I've read it several times. It's been sent to me from, by different people. Yeah. So, so, it, 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 it first rang true to me, and then it rang as if it wasn't true, based on the fact that they they almost like want to perpetuate the system the way it is. They want us to believe that that's the way it is, and just be resigned to it and accept it. Yeah, I I think the reason why I am suspicious of that is is twofold. I do believe that there is amongst a very intellectual elite a self-justification that is reflected in that work, but that's not what it's claimed to be. The, the second is, all the evidence I see is that the ruling elite truly believe themselves to be gods, truly, yeah. and that the vast majority of the world, anyone that is not members, including those who work for them, are nothing more than creatures. That, that's what I've that's what I've seen when I when I was around the elite in Los Angeles back in the seventy nine to eighty two there was a definite arrogant attitude about these people and the reality was is that as far as I saw it they were still just people that had been brainwashed from the day that they were born and conditioned yep. to believe things that weren't true it's kind of like the training that um, William and his brother Harry would go through or when they're being trained and groomed to to go into the nobility line, that they may have started off as uh, as pure, you know, spirits like anybody else, but by the time they were brainwashed and contaminated with that, you know, you don't know what you've ended up with. So um, they, they can believe all kinds of insanity. It's almost like looking in the eyes of George W. Bush and seeing that that it's, it's not his own mind that that is speaking. It's something else that's been programmed into it or something. So Absolutely. Um, I, it's It's a... Tradition, and this is in fact, you know, if people ever bothered to read the Talmud, it's a manual for the perpetuation of mental illness. It's, it's, it promotes the abuse of your children. It actually, the Talmud promotes the abuse of your children to yeah. perpetuate the lie. It's, it's in there. Oh, it's and, in fact, and, and, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, no, far away. No, please finish no. the thought. Well, just the thought is that. Um, unfortunately, I mean, if, if these people weren't so dangerous, I would feel sorry for them. And certainly there is a deep spiritual um, sadness 
that they are so mentally ill, but it doesn't change the fact that rather than reaching out for help, their mental illness appears to be getting worse. It, it, it does, and this brings me to a, a follow-up part of, of what you, your earlier discussion and, and the power that we have, and I, I've sensed this for years. In fact, I, I, re, I, I really feel myself going back to what I knew when I was a child and, and that this oneness that we've spoken about with the divine creator and with each other and, and this, in this dream that we're living in, and one of the things that really triggered for me was when you mentioned that we are in the sun, that, that we're looking at the sky at the core of the sun, and that being the case, then it would mean that we, as you said, that we are um, within the earth and within the sun, we're loved by it, by both, or by the whole system here that we're in, because we've, at least I can just, I can feel your spirit and the spirit of maybe most, I mean, all the people on this call, and, and, and my spirit has always said that I've always wanted to be drawn towards righteousness. It's almost as if that I, that I, I came to this earth to stand for righteousness, righteousness and 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 goodness and bringing balance to humanity, balance between men and women, and all these things that I, that I came here with this mission, and I, I feel it strong with you and, and others. And it's I think that if we were to um, unify our thoughts and prayers, like you did over the last few weeks you've spoken about, that um, we could direct the energy uh, in, in love not to bring harm to anybody, including those that would, are doing harm to, to us and other people, but to maybe neutralize their abilities to do them. For example, you know, before your call tonight, I watched a air, single aircraft flying about 15,000 feet lay a, lay a chemtrail down, and I took my 432 hertz tuning fork out, and I said a prayer as I wrapped the thing that it would neutralize it and that it would have no effect as to what they were doing. And I, you know, I'm just one guy, but I, I, you know, I'm conscious of it, I'm aware of it, and if we were all to become conscious of what these people are still trying to implement, we might, we would not might. I know that we will be able to direct into into full fruition what it is that you and Matt spoke about for June 12th on Pentecost, and then be able to bring this to fruition. Because all my entire life, I've known that their system had to come. It was coming to a collapse that they couldn't sustain sure. it. When you gave us the details, I knew for a fact that it was it was coming to an end. And I think, and also your discussion about the lion and the mouse. I mean, this this lion's out of control. And, and it needs the mouse to come along and pull the thorn out to neutralize the danger to everyone, including themselves. Yep. So if, if what you've done is that, and then the other part would be prayer, uh, looking to the sun, that if this LNN is real and if that JPL, uh, NASA JPL website is real and you know, not some kind of a fear hoax um, that they would often do, knowing I knew people who used to work at JPL and I knew they manipulated data. Um, sure. Um, that, well, it, go ahead. I'm sorry. I think... No, no, no. I, look, I think, I think just, just to sort of, I mean, you're okay if we wrap up? Just wrap up. I think the thing yeah. is, uh, and thank you, I always love hearing your feedback and, and insights. And what's wonderful is we've got some great people that have, that have come together. It's already changing. It is already changing. The fact that you're seeing uh, the exaggeration of the corruption, the fact that you're seeing mainstream people becoming aware of the corruption. A year ago, these are the things people spoke of maybe sometime in the future. It's happening now. It's happening right now. Um, so it is all happening. I guess what I just ask people to consider is just take care with yourselves. Take care with your family. Take care with your life. Give yourself an opportunity. Um, it's all coming together. People are learning. And, and just we are going to become better and more adept at, at harnessing ourselves, but everyone's at different learning paces. And tonight, really, the theme was this issue in amongst ourselves, that if we still feel our buttons are being pressed, let's look at what's pressing them and see if we can't come to our own meditative realisation of what is driving any fear inside of us and see if we can overcome that. Because certainly that is, I think, a key thing that if we can overcome, we can help others overcome. And you get seven to 8,000 people that don't fear, who are competent, who are spiritually connected, who have an alternative come together, then that's all that you need as a catalyst. Really, it's very, very small numbers. Yes, 
and I'm trying to do my part, and <laughs> so we'll keep doing it. The last last thing I want to ask you: if somebody is not a tar- has not been a target as far as I mean, I I I, I have uh, not acquiesced to their system for a long time, and sure. I, I I have poked a, a bear in the in the eye a bunch of times, and so far it's stayed away. But it, is, it, it was your just this is just your opinion. I'm not going to hold you anything because I'm the one that's got to take the risk on this. But sure. if I've been out of the system in order to make it easier and for me to be not targeted, would it? I haven't had a driver's license in many, many, many years, and um, I, I've been figuring out, trying to figure out a way to get an identification again without handing them full authority over me again and making them think they got me back in. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm in all the way still, obviously, until we fulfill this. But is it, if, I mean, obviously writing the VC or the dot, 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 um, either in front of it or obviously been thinking writing the V period, C period over the signature if they don't let me write it in yeah. front of it. Um, so um, it, it's, it really boils down to my confidence when I go into court to know who I am and how to present myself more than even worrying about that license, correct? Well, well this is the thing. Um, the, the the bigger injustice is chemtrails. The bigger injustice is poisoning the land. The bigger injustice is killing people, is taking things from them. The bigger injustice is the sheer and utter waste of material. The minor issue is whether I have or don't have a license. Yeah. Now, I know that people decided to take a stand on that because they saw it as principle. But you picked your battles. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. You pick your battles. The bigger battle is the Cessna KV Trust, the right. EDP. That's a serious battle. I don't think people sometimes quite realize how big that battle is. That is the heart of their system. Money, control, cursing is at the heart of their system. That's it, fear. Fear, curse, money, that's the trifecta. That's where it all is. Now, EDP challenges the root of that. You want to have a license or you don't have a license, all I say is on the front line, they've trained good people, largely good people, to be turned into evil trolls because the image trained that someone that doesn't have a license and argues with them is a threat. And you know what? I don't think I could do the job as being a highway patrolman. I don't think I could do that job and, and and the danger that those people live through on a daily basis. So, you know, you get onto there and, and you have someone gets stopped and wants to have an argument with you, I've got to think whether I'm going to be home for, for dinner. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think, I think you, you just, you know, don't... That's what I'm saying. Don't poke the bear in the eye. Pick, pick the fights that ultimately they can't win, but don't play the game. Look, the puppet master sets this up. The puppet masters want us to play in the sandbox with their image-trained trolls. Because at that point, we are focusing on the minor things and ignoring the major things. If there is a kingdom of ideas, should one be focusing on pulling the threads that unravel the carpet or worrying about the colour? I, 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 I understand your point. Okay. Good on you. Thank you very much. Blessings to you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Greg. All right, Frank, uh, we have 15 minutes after the uh, Yeah, yeah, 15 minutes to wrap up, yeah. uh, Did you want to continue or are we about ready? Well, if if we've we've run out of questions, which is always a good sign, (laughs) or maybe not. I do have a couple of reminders for folks, and then there is one other question um, that uh, I have uh, seen over here in the chat. So just as a reminder, you mentioned Facebook earlier and... uh, uh, Linda has put in the www.facebook.com forward slash Eucadia. That's where folks can go for the uh, Facebook for Eucadia. And also the term that we were discussing earlier, uh, Ron mentioned it, if anybody uh, might have missed it. It is annex instead of exhibit that we use. Yeah. And uh, so back to the question that we have here in the chat. Uh, do you know anything about the blood or bloodlines in regard to racist? Did you did you see that one? R H E S U S. And where did that originally come from? Um, I'm going to ask. It's R A P H U S. Yeah. 
Is that what they're saying? Okay, yeah. He wasn't sure. Uh, maybe they weren't sure how to 